up you guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl JD here back with another video so today as you can tell by the title we are going to be talking about Miss Kelly Rowland not too long ago she actually did an interview with who I can't quite remember but I remember she did an interview with this guy and also Marseille Martin was sitting next to her so I think both of them are being interviewed at the same time but it ultimately comes to a point during the interview when the interviewer turns to Kelly and pretty much brings up the interview that she she did Kelly anyway the interview that she did with Angie Martinez and I remember actually watching that interview a while back when it came out and I remember Angie discussing or you know bringing up the whole Destiny's Child era or when Kelly was in Destiny's Child as a member right and she brings up you know giving Kelly her flowers for playing kind of second fiddle in a way to Beyonce and it was just kind of like um okay and the interviewer in this particular interview he brings that up and this is pretty much how that went such an interesting run for so many reasons you and angie just had a great conversation um on her podcast about yes um her angie gave you flowers mm. for your ability to play second to beyonce mm -hmm. which for so many everyone who gets i can only speak for me Everyone who gets in the entertainment business mm -hmm. gets into it to be the man, right? Mm -hmm. Just me working with Ebro takes hates my it. own he ego. Hates it. hates it. Yeah, hates it. It's my own. Mm -hmm. My ego has to be in check. Even mm -hmm. though when he's not here, I'm like, you know what? I kind of prefer Ebro come back. But <laughs> it takes. It, it does take an ego check. Mm -hmm. And you happen to be standing next to the brightest light on planet Earth. Like you think Big Boy from Outcast has it tough being next to Andre. You're with Beyonce, and not only did you not like fight it, it seems like you really loved the position that you were in and took it seriously and here's, here's the thing light attracts light mm. i am light mm. Mm. so i am a beautiful brown shining light so i don't think anybody's light dims anyone else's mm. i think that when other people start to compare you i think that that's when it shows how dim they are of themselves mm. so i don't take somebody else trying to dim my light anymore for anybody else i love b i know that she's a light but i know that i'm a light too yeah. but it's also created such an interesting role for you where like you could have rested on your laurels and just been like hey i'm a part of this iconic group mm -hmm. my best friend's the biggest star in the world we kick ass we're awesome yes but and her and her best friend slash sister is one of the big stars in the world too <laughs> yes. so it's like people only see things one-sided you know what i mean so i don't like when they just put one person in one place like we both shine together. Mm -hmm. I'm shining with Marseille. We're shining together. Right. It's always been like patriarchy to me. Or even now, like everybody's actually taking the hit of and start to believe this thing where, well, only one woman can do this and they shine the biggest. Right. My sister has knocked down doors and made positions for so many women uh, that look like her, that are deeper shades than her or mm -hmm. brighter or whatever, but specifically for black women and put black women in other places that, you know we're grateful for mm -hmm. you know what i mean but also somebody else did that for her and another mm -hmm. group has done that for and you're us. doing that for other and people. i do it for other brown girls <laughs> yeah. so it's yeah. just it's just a cycle and a space for all of us to open up doors for each other instead of compare don't be so limited and that's i feel like people who compare are limited in their minds mm -hmm. and they limit themselves and so do not don't do that to other people so i'm just gonna read off what was said at the top really quickly before i go into what i have to say in response but it says kelly Rowland says she hates when people try to put her second to beyonce because both are stars in their own right i love Bay. i know that she's a light but i'm a light too and I just find it so interesting when it comes to Destiny's Child anyway as a group. Obviously you could see when it came to the dynamics of how everything worked, who sang lead, who did this, who did that. They tried their best, you know, I'm gonna say it like that. They tried their best to make it as equal as possible, but you could still kind of tell who was gonna be the star. Like who most people was putting more so at the forefront, you know, when it came to attention anyway. And I feel as though just looking back on a lot of the interviews and stuff, a lot of the attention was placed on Beyonce. Let's be honest, a lot of the attention was placed on Beyonce. But in her defense, it was obviously because she had her manager, her dad, you know, around all the time. And when it came to making certain decisions for the group, and unlikely her dad was making it. Even though now, of course, he's no longer her manager. I'm pretty sure she said in a couple of interviews that that kind of played into kind of like their relationship kind of declining. So she definitely had to cut him off 
as her manager. But during the time when he was, I could clearly tell, obviously, because that's your child, obviously you want her to be the star. Obviously you want her to be the breakout singer, you know, the person that goes solo. Even though all three of them went solo, clearly you could tell when it comes to the popularity anyway, Beyonce. That's clear, okay? We're not gonna sit here and pretend that it's not. But to say that Kelly Rowland isn't also a light, okay, like they said in this interview, I feel obviously would be disingenuous because even though, for example, Kelly and Michelle were sometimes, okay, it looks as though anyway, uh, Beyonce's kind of backup singers sometimes, I can understand why some people would be like, oh, her light is brighter than hers. However, I do think that's very unfair to say because even though Kelly didn't have as crazy of a career as Beyonce, I do feel like she had quite a bit of hits. She was also doing her own thing. Me personally, when it comes to Kelly and her career, I feel like she could have done more. Again, I feel like labels and things could kind of play into how your career kind of goes and is directed. Unfortunately, that's the case more often than not. But when it comes to Kelly, I do feel like she could have probably been a little bit more consistent in some areas but then again i don't know for sure what happened behind the scenes so this is just me going based on what i saw in the physical realm and i just feel as though it, there was no real consistency when it came to her music she had quite a few hits she did that song with nelly she did the song with i think it was lil wayne she had so many different things going but then it just would fall kind of flat after and just you wouldn't hear from her and it's just like what is going on so i just didn't feel like the work ethic was as there or as present as beyonce's was when it came to kelly i'm i'm just gonna be honest now michelle i knew michelle wasn't gonna be no mega star that's just a fact but i feel like kelly she most definitely had that star power and presence in my mind i just feel like it just things just didn't work out for her to be on that level. But to say that she's not also important, again, like I said, would be disingenuous because Destiny's Child was still all three of them. And even in the beginning, all four of them. There was four in the beginning, right? I forgot. It was Beyonce Kelly Latoya can't remember the fourth one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can never remember her name. I think there was actually five of them at one point and then it got narrowed down to four. And then, you know, Latoya and the other girl left, and then Michelle replaced them. I think. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong, but I, I think that's what happened. But either way, we're gonna be talking about the trio, okay? Because the trio was what I remember most of. Now, I personally feel as though, like I said already, Michelle and Kelly, even though they, I feel, didn't really get as much solo time, they claimed that, you know, because it was just the three of them at one point, you know, now they had more solos to go around. I still feel like Beyonce still got a lot more of the time, but I'm not blaming her. I'm not, I'm not saying that it was her fault. I'm just pointing out what I saw, what was kind of obvious to me. Just saying, because like I said already, if you have family within your management, clearly they're gonna try to have your best interests at heart because you're their family, you know? So I'm just gonna say that. But I ultimately feel that with Kelly, she's unfortunately going to always be, uh, I don't wanna put it this way, but it is unfortunate. But she is going to continuously be compared to Beyonce. It just is what it is, it's unfortunate. But I do think that to acknowledge her at the very least is what people can do. Acknowledge her for the part that she did play in that group. Clearly her solo career is, in my opinion, kind of all over the place at the moment, but that's kind of the way it has been since she first went solo. But I think that with regards to Kelly, I think she's found her peace with the whole situation. But of course, whenever people like this interviewer brings that whole thing up about Beyonce and her and then Beyonce being kind of like the brighter light, I hated the way he said that. He was just like, oh, you're dealing with someone that has like a really, really bright light or something like that. And it was just like, I mean, she brought a lot to the table too. Have you heard Kelly sing on her own? <laughs> like, come on. Come on. I personally think that 
people need to start giving Kelly her flowers and stop trying to compare. I feel like obviously if you're a female in the music industry space, obviously you're gonna be compared to other women. That's just what it is. But unfortunately with Kelly, because she was in a girl group, she's going to be compared to her friend, Beyonce, all the time. It just is what it is. And I personally feel as though if she had more of a solo career presence, I think people wouldn't have so much to say about the difference between the two of them. They wouldn't have too much comparisons. I feel like they probably would not see Kelly as necessarily as a dimmer light, you know? But I like the way that Kelly handled it. She was like, listen, I feel as though we're both lights and personally feel that even though I'm next to Beyonce, I'm still a bright light and she's not dimming my light, I'm not dimming hers. And I thought she said that perfectly because I think that when it comes to us women, we do get kind of put against each other a lot and for amusement, you know? And it's just very damaging, of course, to your self-esteem and all that. You know, obviously you have a part to play in that, you make that decision to feel that way, but I just feel ultimately that it's just so unnecessary, but yeah, I, I don't think it's ever gonna stop for Kelly. That's the unfortunate part, but I hope that she does not, okay, does not let that stand in the way of her and Beyonce's friendship. They've had such a long-standing friendship at this point, I, I don't think anything could really come between them. It'll probably have to be something super serious, you know? But I don't want to speak that into existence. Y'all can let me know your thoughts on this one. I feel like this has been a topic of discussion for years now. People always bring up Kelly in connection to Destiny Shell and Beyonce and basically comparing her with Beyonce. I don't think it's ever gonna stop, unfortunately, but I do think that her responses are good. I feel like that helps to solidify why people really should just let the topic go you know it's just kind of like i don't understand why this is still even a thing you know but y'all can let me know your thoughts down in the comments that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it i'll catch y'all in the next one peace